firestorm brewing tonight. We know Americans are tired of gridlock in Washington, but today, Senate Democrats made a power move to break the hold of the filibuster, that stalling technique we remember from Jimmy Stewart and Mr. Smith goes to Washington. The president said enough is enough, and ABC's chief White House correspondent Jonathan Carl now tells us what began happening right away. Will the senator yield? The senator yield is... No, sir, I'm afraid not. For more than a century, the filibuster, immortalized in the movie Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, has empowered the minority party in the Senate to bring everything to a halt just by talking. That I can hold this for almost until doomsday. In other words, I've got a piece to speak. It's a tactic Republicans are now using more than ever. I rise today to begin to filibuster John From Rand Paul, who tried to block the president's pick to run the CIA, to Ted Cruz, who talked nearly 22 hours straight against Obamacare. Republicans are now blocking dozens everybody. of President Obama's nominees. Uh, but today, in a controversial and historic move, referred to as the nuclear option, Democrats changed the rules, ending the filibuster when it comes to most presidential nominees. And minutes later, they moved forward on one Obama nominee who had been blocked for almost six months. A simple majority vote uh, no longer seems to be sufficient for anything, that enough is enough. But Republicans called it a naked power grab. We are approaching a slippery slope that will destroy the very unique aspect of this institution called the United States Senate. Republicans tried but failed to do away with the filibuster back when George W. Bush was president. Then a freshman senator named Barack Obama opposed the move, saying it would only make bitter partisan divisions even worse. Diane, he is about to find out if he was right.